Good afternoon, evening. Welcome to Real Health Talk and Solutions. Um, we're delighted to have you here at the um, show. Um, we haven't done the show in a minute, so um, thank th we thank our faithful fans and um, audience for um, being with us as we, um, you know, regroup with the show. Um, but um, we're delighted to be here today. Um, I'm Morris Birch, the host, and I'm with my co-host, um, Armit Lambert, who always, um, you know, generally he's here with me. And um, we, you know, we have wellness advice for you. Um, general health mel um, um, maintenance wellness. We're, we're, we're not trying to be your doctors. We're trying to tell you some of the things that you should be doing um, um, in your own personal wellness journey that will actually alleviate you having to see doctors a lot and go through a whole lot of um, medical procedures. So, um, yeah, well, today's show is going to be a little more informational, but we're going to talk about some things that I'm going to be doing, previewing on the, um, on the show. Um, in the past, I've worked with the feet and its relationship with the earth and doing certain movements like going from the power points to the heel, as you would with the toes, to the power points, mm -hmm. to the heels, right? And then we go to the one where you're going forward and back, but you're moving the earth energy. Your feet are not going forward and back on top, on top of the surface but it's moving the energy underneath the earth um, forward and back. You're playing with it. That's what you're doing, right? And each movement creates a different mm -hmm. um, uh, um, um, action in the body because you're doing different things. Yep. One, you're going from toes to the heels. Now you're going forward and back. On, di on the third one, you're pressing from side to side, you know, the energy. So now you're pressing. So it's different things you're doing with the energy, with the earth energy. And it creates different um, 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 reactions in the body. Mm -hmm. Yup. Mm -hmm. But generally what they do, they loosen tendons, allow you to breathe, create internal space, um, relax the tension in the body, and get more blood flow going. Mm-hmm. So, um, we want to bring your attention to World Tai Chi Day, April the 27th, up in Colchester. Um, April the 27th, up in Colchester on the green, right in the town green. You can't miss it. Um, the, it's um, Saturday morning. Uh, starts at 10 a.m. Um, it's about 2, 2.30. It's the last workshop at 2.30. So I guess it, it starts about 1.45, the last workshop, and then, mm -hmm. you know, 2.30. Yep. yep. And so, um, but anyway, um, yep, um, World Tai Chi Day, for the audience who don't know about it, was a day that was developed. Um, there's a certain gentleman taking credit for it or being a part of it and kickstarting it. But it's a day where all over the world people go out into the parks and generally you have somebody that's well versed in healing arts, um, such as Qi Gong, Tai Chi, Bagua, um, Xing Yi, uh, um, um, sometimes it could just be yoga instructors, whatever. But basically it's out there, it's people out there leading people through wellness exercises and letting people know the importance of getting out yeah. and, and, and working on their life. So. Um, my program has been an integral part of that because we believe in that uh, as far as getting out and breathing yeah. and, you know, you know, we only go indoors maybe three months out the year and then we're, we're outdoors at yeah. least eight, eight or nine months easily. Yeah. And so, um, you know, we agree with being outdoors with the seasonal change, breathing the, the air that God made available during that seasonal change. Mm -hmm. Whether it's humid, it teaches you how to work in humidity, mm -hmm. gently and very slow and soft, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when it's regular um, temperature, you can really put out. Mm -hmm. And when it's cold, you do different type of exercises. Mm -hmm. But you know, your body gets acclimated 
to being moved and exercised in all weathers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that in turn builds an internal strength um, to your body. You know, where people with their comfortability, always in their cars, always in, mm. in stores, always in their house, yeah. you know, where the temperatures are set. After a while, your body loses that adaptability yeah. to the temperature changes. Yeah. And then you start only being comfortable in a certain temperature. Yeah. I see it all the time. You see some of the women coming in the senior class, like they, they're cold and they want to just don't open them doors and mm -hmm. all of that. And they don't want to breathe and, yeah. and things of that nature because any other weather than the controlled weather that they've been in the past 25 years, right, they, they, their body don't adapt yeah. well to it. No. <clears throat> you know? And so we in the program, we believe you lose a lot of internal t toughness um, when you can't adapt to, to, to you know, right. the, the temperature, the current temperatures. Yep, so yeah, we got World Tai Chi Day coming up April the 27th. Um, we're excited about that. Um, people in the area, um, you should come out. Um, the New London um, Senior Citizen Center has a bus going. You can call and, and, and talk about that. Um, um, if, you, if you're not of the New London Senior Citizen Center, then um, maybe Groton is, you know, can you go up there. But what we're trying to say is that in all the areas of Connecticut, there are going to be people out in the parks mm -hmm. doing World Tai Chi Day mm -hmm. type things. You're going to see different schools performing, different um, instructors performing. Yeah. All the workshops are free, <laughs> and um, it's, valu it's valuable um, um, wellness knowledge by um, reputable um, 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 instructors, and, and most of them, in most cases, have dedicated their life to um, actually um, doing healing health arts, you know, for instance, like me. And so, yeah, and um, so the people who want to really um, reach the program um, 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 my personal phone number is 860-574-5768. Um, I love to answer any questions you have. You can call me personally um, for, for uh, scheduling information. But, you know, my, uh, my producer normally puts up um, information. And uh, Saturday, starting now, we're no longer downtown. We are at Butler Beach Park. We have officially moved out of um, doing downtown classes, and uh, that's where we, we, we will be located. And so our classes are at Butler Beach Park, and uh, right now this Thursday uh, from 5 p.m. to about a little after 6, and uh, Saturday morning, uh, 10 a.m., to 12 noon is, is, is um, the classes. Um, Pequot Avenue, Butler Beach Park. Um, come on down to see us. Um, we'll be out there breathing. Um, you know, bring water, towel, and uh, a willing attitude and, and, and um, you know, a willingness to um, come in uh, and breathe. Uh, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, like my producer, has up there, we're at the New London Senior Citizen Center, where I have a 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. class. So those are the times that you can touch the program life and the program can touch your life. We'll go over it again. Um, Wednesdays, we're here at the television studio, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., um, live on SEC TV. Right, Tuesdays and Thursday we're at New London Senior Citizen. Can't talk today. Senior Citizen Center. Tuesdays and Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, we're also at Butler Beach Park doing outdoor classes, Pequot Avenue, New London. Um, Thursday, 5 to 6:30 p.m. Um, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So come on out, let the program touch your life. We can tailor a workout um, exercise for you 
we do a general one that we all do at the park, and then people are asked to do certain things at home to, um, you know, to improve whatever condition they have or whatever weakness they have in their wellness. Or, um, you know, people may be rehabbing something or, or getting over an injury or have a weakness in a certain part of the area, whatever. This workout is really excellent for you. And, uh, oh, and we also wanted to say that the, the program is working with the Drop-In Learning Center. And we're working with some children. It's the first time in um, uh, maybe like eight years or so that I've been working with the kids. You know, after doing about 12 years or so straight, took a little break. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm back doing working with the children. And, uh, you know, I find it challenging and, uh, you know, and so rewarding. And uh, they're, they're, they're going to be performing at World Tai Chi Day this year. Um, my seniors and the children, and uh, and that 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 warms my heart because it sh it's going to show that wellness is needed mm -hmm. in all age groups, <clears throat> and and unfortunately some people think that they don't need the wellness. And, you know, especially the people about thirty five to fifty um, five who are just really hard-headed and won't get that, that routine down pat, mm. you know, by constantly deluding <clears throat> themselves if they do an exercise here and there and, 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 and instead of knowing that, you know, no, you need a daily, uh, I mean, a weekly thing. Mm. And at least three or four times a week, you should be on it diligently. And you have to set the good habits now because the older you are, the more harder it is to do. Mm. It really, really is. And it's not like if you go to like to school and junior high you finish, and uh -huh. it's done. Right. High school you finish, and it's done. Right. But no, it, you're not done. You have to keep going. Yeah. In your wellness, you are never yeah. done. Right. You know what I mean? Just like I'm introducing some of these these hand things, because I'm realizing how much I have to say open your fingers and, and mm. lift your wrists and move mm. and mm. and like people are having trouble with it mm. and 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 those are signs of other things in the body yeah. so as I'm going to be introducing wrist turns and different finger motions mm. for people to do um, 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 I'm going to be explaining what they're what they what, what they are designed for mm -hmm. and what they're going to be curing Right? So, look, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we're going to get in, into the programs, um, um, what we believe in, and we're going to speak that, and then we're going to get on with the show. We believe in eight hours rest. And even if you wake up and it's only six hours, I'm, I stay in the bed an hour or so, you know, then get rest. You know, we, we and, and try to clear your mind while you're in the bed. Don't have a lot of stuff going through your mind. We believe that you have to give the mind time to recover, and the mind is dealing with thousands of thoughts, or, or you know, every minute. And so what happened is, is that, you know, when you are sleeping, then your brain is at rest. It is replenishing. Mm -hmm. And the studies have shown when you get in these four to five hours sleep that some of these fools uh, swear by, you know what I mean? And then, that, see, that's the reason why there's a lot of people walking around with Alzheimer's and dementia, because the studies have shown the less sleep you get, the more those enzymes are being secreted in the brain mm -hmm. yeah, that causes those, um, um, those um, diseases. So we believe in the sleep. We believe in drinking adequate enough for water. I've Cut back on saying everybody should be drinking the same amount for the simple reason people do different, you know, if you're a construction worker outdoors, <laughs> you're going to drink more yeah. than an office worker yeah. indoors. But I'm generally sticking to um, people should uh, at least two 16 ounces, 20 ounces um, bottles of water a day, at least. I would say three times. I would say in the morning, 
I would say in the um, afternoon and I would say in the evening, you know, to get that, um, that nourishment. And one of the things studies have shown is that with proper hydration, that all your body functions and systems work better. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that it's really good with is that you won't be as sore if you are as hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one of the things that we agree. We 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 believe in sitting and standing relaxation. Just calming the mind, being in the moment. Over here in this country it's called mindfulness. You know, but it's the same thing. It's just being still, being aware of your breathing and your body relaxation and um, letting go. So the body and the brain can, can the, the body can replenish, meaning your organs, your brain, right? And we believe in sitting and standing relaxation because it makes the body strong. Now, doesn't it? It does, definitely, yes. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't think so, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now, I know when you first met me and when... Well, I told like, you, I said, what's this going to do? <laughs> That's the way it was <laughs> That's what's, what's with him? What's this going to do? <laughs> I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah. And see, going along with the point I was about to make is that that's why I always have people do it. Remember when you yeah. first met me, you were probably seeing people going, no, they come, oh, I want to watch. Mm -hmm. How are you going to know? Yeah. How are you going to understand? That's right. How are you going to discern you're watching us standing yeah. and sitting? Yeah. You don't have a clue what we're doing. No. But when you do it and I talk you through it, then you get a, oh, okay, I see. You got me pressing the herb, you lift my head. And what it does, it strengthens your body in things that you do all the time. Yeah. You sit and you stand. Yeah. So we practice sitting and standing relaxation. And when we practice sitting and relax, standing relaxation, it is to be still. It's called our stillness. And stillness is great supreme healing. In stillness. Yes. You know, yeah, great supreme healing. Okay, so we, we practice being still and our standing and sitting. We practice walking the circle because you need to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You cannot be healthy if you're not moving. No. Unless you have some type of condition where you can't move, then you have to do alternative things. But if you're a regular healthy male or female, then you need to move. That's you right. have to move. Now, studies have shown that people who are, are moving enough, taking enough stuff, they are decreasing heart attack and stroke risk 13 to 25 percent, <laughs> you know. And, and one doctor is going far to say you won't get these things if you're moving the, the, the daily, um, mm -hmm. um, taking enough steps. Yeah. And so, you know, so, you know, see how all of a sudden now medical field is coming along to what was the standard of our program and the standard of um, internal martial mm -hmm. arts for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. But now they're just coming on and saying it. But now you have so many people that's just... They can hear it till they blue in the face. They're not going to work on their wellness. They're just not going to do it. It's unfortunate that, you know, someone will be, say, I say they're stiff, you know, they get up and they're stiff. Yep. And, and they think of, well, I'll have to take a pill. Yep. Instead of moving slowly and so on. Oh, yeah. They, all they understand is, well, I take a pill. What, what, what America has taught them. Yeah. That's what they understand. Yeah. It's not, oh, I'm stiff. Let me do some joint manipulation and release that and feel good. Right, right. See, it's never nothing like that. No, no. You know, oh, I don't have any energy. Let me do some rise and drill for about three to four minutes and breathe and get some blood flowing. Mm -hmm. See, they never think on that type no, of no. area. Right. Which is unfortunate. Well, because it, no one take time to put wellness in their life. That's right. You know, wellness is <clears throat> the constant thought in their mind. And after a while, they get deluded to like they actually did something. Mm -hmm. and wellness is three, four times a week to be well. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do it every day. We prefer every day because in internal, every day is, is, it, it works for us. Yeah. You know, 
And so anyway, we walk the circle, right? And the circle gives you balance, strength, equilibrium, mm -hmm. range of motion. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, um, the lower extremity, the legs stay strong. The feet get stays agile and continue to get agile as you age. The story that I used to hear is that the, the story of one guy, a Bagua man, walking circle. He died in 82, 83, a gas stole by accident. And what he said was, one of the students said, the top student said, none of us could walk our circle longer. None of us could work, walk it faster. Mm -hmm. He said, none of us could push the trees more than he could. None of us can hit the trees. And he was 80 something years old. Mm -hmm. And so it's a hard concept in this country that believe in people to be like that. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Because in this country, you're supposed to be old and can't do nothing at 80 something. Right. But the difference is, these guys never got old. Their bodies never got old. They worked out since they were about probably about 12, 13, 14, yeah. probably about like my age, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They worked out all their lives. So they don't have what a normal person would have. Right. You don't get that when you, because you, you're constantly in preventive building wellness. Yeah. This is our sitting relaxation. You'll notice I'm not sitting back in the chair leaning. I'm sitting with my back straight up. There's room behind me, as is Armit Lambert, too. Okay? All right? The object of this is sitting, relaxation, and stillness. All right? So what you do, you sit down. You turn your palms, face them upward toward the heaven. You take your feet, and you place it, and you press the earth. You do not put your feet underneath the chair. You do not cross your legs. You do not do all the things that cut off circulation that, is, that, that um, um, contributes to um, poor circulation in the feet and which can contribute to the myriad of different problems you will have when your feet is not getting proper circulation. So the main thing is we align the body where the blood can circulate freely and we're not sitting or standing and postures that hinder the circulation of energy and blood. All right, so here we go. You sit down in the chair, you press your bottom in the chair, you close your eyes, you be still. Your body's completely relaxed. You lift the top of your head gently, you elongate your neck slowly, relax your shoulders. You breathe in your stomach move, let go in the back of the neck. Press your bottom in the chair. Let go in your arms and wrist, and wrist. Lift your head. Relax right between the eyes. Don't hold in your back. Don't hold in your collarbone. Press the earth more. Lift the head. Be still. Be in the moment. Let go. Your mind's in the moment. You're not holding. You're letting go in the shoulder blades. The back. Lifting your head. Elongating your neck, breathing, relaxing more, not holding, letting go, pressing the earth energetically, softly, being still, relaxing right between the eyes, letting go in the shoulder blade, collarbone, pressing your bottom in the chair. Lifting your head, relaxing your arms, lifting your collarbone. Be still, press the earth with your feet, press it more, let go and press it. Elongate your neck and press it. Let go in the back of the neck, lift your head, your neck is light. You're not holding. Let go in your upper arms and your shoulder blades and your back and your calf muscles and your fingers. Relax, audience. Breathe. Lift your head to the heel and heavens. Let go of that stiff neck. Elongate it. 
expand it. Relax your wrist, ankles, hips, spine. Be still. Let go in the collarbone. Stop holding. Press the earth. Relax the toes and fingers and the heels and the ankles and the knees. Breathe. Relax the solar plex, let go. Relax right between the eyes and the shoulder blades. Lift the top of the head. Lift it more. Elongate the neck. Stop holding in your bones. Press the earth energetically. More softer. More energetically. Press your bottom in the chair. Relax your spine. Let go of your thigh muscles, your knees, your calves, your wrists, your fingers. Relax your ten toes. Breathe. Let go right between the eyes. And your collarbone, relax. Your spine, let go. Your neck. Press the earth with your feet more energetically. Relax the heels. Breathe. Let go. Be still. Relax right between the eyes. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulder blades. Relax your heels. Relax your forearms. Relax your ribs. Breathe. Relax right between the eyes. Relax your shoulders. Let go. Your mouth is closed. Breathe in and out the nose. Let go on your hips. Let go on your feet. Let go on your ten toes. Let go on your neck. Relax the spine. Your body is light. Let go in your collarbone. No tension in your shoulder blades, in your neck. Lift your head. Relax your ribs. Breathe. Let go. No tension in the spine, in the hips, in the thigh muscles, in the wrist. No tension in the mid-back, let go, no tension in the heels, be still, lift your head more, create a little space underneath the arms, open the arms gently underneath, softer, gently, press the bottom in the chair, softer, let go in the back, gently, lift the head, press the bottom in the chair, softer, let go on your spine and do it. Let go on your shoulder blades and do it. Lift your head and do it. Elongate your neck lightly and do it. Expand your shoulders. Let go on your shoulder joint, your elbow joint, your knee joint, your wrist joint. Let go on your collarbone, your wrist joint, your fingertips. Let go on your toes. Breathe. Let go in the middle of the top of the head. The middle of the back of the neck. The middle of the collarbone. The middle of your palm. Press the power points of your feet. The instep of your feet. Let go in your lower back and your hips in your waist, in your shoulder joint. Purple fluid running through your body. Blue fluid running through your back, your neck. Be still, purple ball, purple flame in your palm. Blue fluid running all through your body, 
and your shoulders and your elbows. Purple ball, purple flame in your palms. Blue fluid in your spine, let go. Stop holding in your hips, your neck. Blue fluid in your shoulder blades, your solar plexus, your collarbone, your spine. More blue fluid in your mid-back. Blue fluid deep in your mid-back. More. Blue fluid in your wrist. Blue fluid in your elbows. Your neck bones. Blue fluid in your hips. Blue fluid right between the eyes. Back of the neck. Right between the eyes. The wrist. Hips. Blue fluid in your back. Be still. In your wrist. In your feet pressing the earth. In your heels. In your instep. In your heels. Purple ball, purple flame in your palms. Growing. Growing more. Getting bigger. More. Blue fluid all through your bones. All right, audience. We're going to come out of it. Seriously, we said it, aren't we? <laughs> right? So those who did the journey with me, if, if you're all out there, our fans, please speak. After we do the sitting or standing relaxation, actually after any exercise that we do, we would love for you to, 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 to touch out, reach out to us. We, we like feedback, okay? All right, so before we get up, we're going to do some um, specialized thing. We're going to do a couple of things with our feet, and um, it's called the feet play. All right, so we're... Um, <laughs> Now, so now that we have actually relaxed, this is what I want you to do. Everybody is still in your sitting relaxation. I want you to press the earth with your feet, and I want you to start moving the energy underneath the earth with your feet. So your feet are going to be moving forward and back, but not like this. It's going to be moving forward and back like this, moving the energy underneath. They won't be moving across the floor they'll be moving the energy underneath the floor. So let's give it a try for a minute or two. Ready, go. As I'm pressing the earth, I'm wiggling my toes and moving the earth energy forward and back. I'm relaxing from head to toe, my neck, my shoulders. I'm pressing the earth, relaxing my spine, moving the energy forward and back. That's the motion I'm doing continuously. Wiggling my toes, relaxing from head to toe, lifting my head, breathing, letting go of my shoulder, my neck, lifting my head, elongating my neck, breathing, letting go, not holding, press the earth, people, move the earth energy forward and back. It creates a loosening effect on the bones and tendons. Don't do it hard. Smile and do it. Relax and do it. Breathe and do it. Let go in the neck and do it. Stop holding and do it. Move the earth energy forward and back. Mess it with your feet energy. Breathe. Breathe. Let go in the neck and do it. The shoulders, the back. Press the bottom of the chair and do it. Wiggle the toes and do it. Lift the head and do it. Let go. Breathe. Let go in the shoulders, the neck. Press the earth. Wiggle each toe. Lift the head. No tension. Your body is light. Your head is lifted. Your neck is elongated. Breathe and be aware of your navel. 
Let go in your shoulder blades. Elongate your neck more. Expand your shoulder joint more. Wiggle your toes more. Lift your head more. Breathe more. Let go in your spine more. Your neck more. Press your bottom in the chair more. Let go in your spine more. Lift your head more. Let go in your collarbone more. Expand your shoulders more. Wiggle your toes more. Be aware of the earth energy more, deeper. Play with it. Feet play is called, people. Play with it more. Breathe. Let go in your back, neck. No tension in your shoulders. Lift your head, breathe. No tension in your shoulder blades. Collarbones. Feet. Toes. Bring it to a stop. Whoa. You feel that? Man. What a charge. Wow. What a charge. All right. So we did that one. The next one we're going to do is, it's very simple. You're going to go to your power points, and then you're going to go to your heels. You're going to go to your power points all the while wiggling your toes, and you're going to go to the heels. You're going to press your power points, press it, and you're going to go to your heels. You're going to relax. Go back to your heels. You're going to go to your power points. Relax your shoulders and back, and you're going to go to the heels. You're going to breathe and be aware of the navel. And you're going to go to your power points. You're going to go to your heels. Press them. You're going to go to your power point. Press it energetically with the earth. You're going to let go in your neck. You're going to relax your spine. You're going to elongate your neck more. You're going to relax your shoulders and arms. You're going to press your heels. Relax your shoulder blades and collarbone. You're going to breathe and elongate the neck. You're not going to hold in the mid-back. You're going to press your bottom in the chair. Lift your collarbone. Elongate the neck. Let go in the shoulder blades. Breathe and be in the moment, people. Smile. Elongate the neck more. No tension in the shoulders more. In the upper arms more. In your spine. No tension in your heels. Press the heels. Then press the power point. Then press the heels. Relax. Then press the power points. Then wiggle your toes. Then elongate your neck. Then press the heels. Then lift the head. Relax the shoulder blades. And the mid back. Breathe gently. No tension. Relax more. Let go from head to toe more. Let go more. Let go more. Lift the head more. Relax more. Breathe gently more. Press the power points more. Breathe and be aware of the navel more. Let go on the neck, shoulders, and back. Lift the head more. Stop holding in the spine and neck more. And the mid-back is light more. Press the bottom in the chair more. Wiggle the toes more. Bring it to a stop. Whoa. Is that powerful what, man? It really is, man. It really is. Okay, so now... Here's the hand segment. So um, let's see if uh, producer coming here and try to get a little more up close for you guys. Uh, 
Yep, okay, that looks pretty good, yep. 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 All right. Okay, so now in this one, the more the focus is on my hands. And I want you all to do this here for your brain health, right? This is for your brain health. It helps with Alzheimer's and dementia, okay? Big time. Okay, so ready? You see I have my hands, right? My fingers are open. And this is what we're going to do, like this. See? Let me see you do it, Army. Look. Yeah, look. Yeah, right? So you're going to go like this, then open. Yeah, see, don't close all the way, see? I'm just closing the, the tip knuckles, all right, in each one. And try to keep your, the middle of your hand open in space. Okay, so we, we're, we're doing the claw, opening the claw, doing the claw, opening the claw, doing the claw, do it with strength, opening the claw, doing the claw, do it with strength, open the claw, doing the claw, open the claw. Doing the claw, open the claw, relax, open the claw, doing the claw, open the claw, doing the claw with strength, open the claw, relax, doing the claw with strength, open the claw, relax, doing the claw with strength, open the claw, relax, doing the claw with strength, open the claw, relax, doing the claw with strength, open the claw, relax. Let go of the fingers. Do it. Open. Do the claw. Open. Breathe. Do the claw. Open. 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 Do it. Open. Do it. Open, relax, open, breathe, open, do the claw, open, do the claw, open, do the claw, open, you got to do the thumb, man, you got to really do everything, yeah, open, do the claw, open. Good afternoon, Eve and Carla. Welcome to Real Health Talk and Solutions. How may I help you? Good afternoon, Stephen Birch. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. You with us? Yes, I am. All right. Do the claw. Open. Go back to the other shot, Drew. Open. Do the claw. Open. Do the claw. Open. Do the claw. Open. Relax. Open, do the claw. Open, relax. Open, do the claw with strength in the fingers. Open with relaxation. Do the claw with strength. Open, do the claw with strength in every finger, the thumb too, pinky. Open, do the claw with. Open, do it. Open, it's like you're doing the leopard. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Every finger. Open it. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Breathe. Open it. Relax. Claw it. Open it. Claw it. Open it. Blue fluid, open it, claw it, with strength, open it, claw it, 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 open it, every finger, claw it. Open it, claw it, open it, claw it, 
open it, claw it, open it. Now claw it and open it fast. Faster. Every finger. Breathe. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Fast mean without strength. Movement. Every finger. Claw it. Every finger. Faster. Natural. Do it. All right, slowly bring your hands and put them down on your knees. Is it a game changer, Tommy? Oh, thanks for that, Teach. Lord have mercy. That's different. That's different. I love it. Look, move your fingers now. <laughs> <laughs> what does my teacher like to say? Put the check in the mail. And you're right. And you're right. Wow. See? And look how your body feels. And look how much how much calmness and blood flew to your brain. Unbelievable. Breathing's great too. Yeah. Duh, you ain't gonna get that much blood flow without the breathing. <laughs> Look, now I told them, for real, Alzheimer's and dementia. That's what that mm -hmm. one's about, oh. you know? All right, we got one more we're going to do, Tommy. Okay. And I'm going to have to explain it to you, oh, okay? I'll do a simpler yes, one. Sir. Yeah. For the audience, Tommy, I can just tell him. Oh, I got something. Now, on this one, Tom, look. See what I'm doing? You got to squeeze the thumb, man. Yeah, okay. Put your thumb in the middle of your palm and squeeze it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yes, sir. All right, and then open your fingers and raise your thumb all the way up. Then put your thumb back and squeeze. And then open and raise the thumb all the way up. Then put your thumb back and squeeze it. Then open and raise the thumb all the way up and the fingers all the way out. Put your thumb back and squeeze it. Then open all the way out. Put your thumb back and squeeze it. Then open all the way out. Put your thumb back and squeeze it. Then open all the way out. Put your thumb back and squeeze it. Then open all the way out. Put the thumb back in and squeeze it. Then open and lift the thumb all the way out. Fingers too. Put the thumb back in and squeeze it good. Then open it. Then squeeze it. Then open it. Coordinate with your breathing and squeeze it. Then open it. Then squeeze the thumb. Then open it. Then squeeze it. Then open it. Let go, then squeeze it. Relax, open it. Breathe, squeeze it. Open it. 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 Squeeze it. Good squeeze. Open, good open. Squeeze it. Relax. Open it. Squeeze it. Open it. Squeeze it. Open it. Squeeze it. Open it. Squeeze it. Open it more. Squeeze it more. 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 Open. 
squeeze it down. Open. Squeeze it down. Open. Squeeze it down. Open. Squeeze it down. Open. Squeeze it down. Open. Squeeze it down. Open slowly. Yup. All right, feel how your body feels. That's great. That's great. That's the breathing, when you coordinate the breath with it, wow. See? Yup. And, and, and look, now move your fingers all type of ways. And squeeze and open. And feel. You, do you feel what's happening, Tommy? Ooh, it's great. What's, imagine it's your great. sword play, how nimble and light this is going to be. Yes, <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. All right, listen, the last one is very simple. Hold your hand out, your fingers extended, and your thumb up. Take your thumb, touch the middle of your arm palm, right, and then bring the thumb back up. Touch the middle of the palm with it, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, bring it back up. Touch the middle of the palm, keep the other fingers extended. Bring it back up. Touch it. Bring it back up. Touch with the tongue. Bring it back up. Touch it. Slow it down. Bring it back up. Touch it. Bring it back up. Touch it. Slow down. Bring it back up. Do the move. Touch it. Bring it back up, go all the way, touch it. Bring it back up, touch it. Bring it back up, let go, touch it. Relax, bring it back up, touch it.